Well, good evening guys, Dave Kisser here. Nathan and I have driven all day to get to Orlando, Florida. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't eaten all day and I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm probably a little more irritable than I would normally be. But I want to talk to you because I know a lot of you are wondering about this report that has just come out with respect to Judge Roy Moore in the Senate race in Alabama, this accusation by this lady from almost 40 years ago. Can I just say a couple of things about this and then I'm going to move on. But friends, I am angry and I have every right to be and so do you. We're talking about an accusation from 40 years ago. Just earlier, I was watching Fox News on my cell phone as we were driving down and Martha McCallum was questioning two people about this. And one of them said, look, this is 40 years ago. This is a, an individual who's had all kinds of uh, problems in their past, both alcohol addiction, drug addiction that she's admitted to. And Martha interrupted him and said this, this is not about her character, it's about Judge Moore's character. Can I say that is dead wrong because it's about both of their character. It's about both of their character over 40 years plus. So let me say this, put Judge Roy Moore's character up against this woman. She was uh, an admitted drug addict alcohol addict. She's had numerous and repeated financial problems. And when she does come out and issue this accusation, she does it after supposedly 40 years. And she doesn't go to the police department. She doesn't go to a law enforcement entity. She goes to a newspaper, the Washington Post, that has already come out in support of Doug Jones, Roy Moore's opponent. This doesn't not only pass a smell test, it doesn't pass any smell test. And then we have those on Capitol Hill, whose names I'm not going to mention, though I'm tempted to, who come out and say merely because the accusation was leveled, Judge Moore needs to exit the race. Are you kidding me? Is that where we are in America? You're guilty by accusation? If they want to have a, an examination of this, if they want to have a lawsuit, if they want to have some type of a investigation into this, bring it on. Bring it on. I'll put Roy Moore up against this woman's accusation any day of the week. No, friends, this is ridiculous. And by the way, we have seen this before. This is precisely what was attempted against President Trump when he was running. This is precisely what was brought against years ago in a prior presidential campaign, Herman Cain. Uh, and most of every one of those were proven to be totally fallacious. And this is precisely what was done to a Supreme Court justice who sits on the court right now, and I'm talking about Clarence Thomas, and he used a great phrase in his investigation when all of these ridiculous, salacious allegations were brought up by Anita Hill. He said, this is nothing more than the high-tech lynching of a black man. Well, I want to say what this is with Judge Roy Moore. This is nothing more than the attempted high-tech lynching of a great man. And the people of Alabama are far too smart to fall for this. And what I believe is going to happen is the six to eight point now admitted lead Judge Moore has, what he's going to win by on December 12th is going to be more than that because the people of Alabama are not stupid. They are very smart, very wise, very discerning people. And they see through this like looking through a thin piece of paper. Well, I'm going to go get something to eat now. And got that off my chest and friends uh, I hope I hope you see this for what it is this is the most ridiculous politically motivated stunt that those on the left have ever attempted and even establishment Republicans have ever signed on to to try to keep this good man this great man out of the Senate and I've said it to many of you in person where I've talked to you over the last several months that those on Capitol Hill that love righteousness are excited beyond belief at the possibility of Roy Moore being in the Senate and those that hate righteousness on both sides of the aisle, politically motivated on both sides of the aisle. They're scared out of their mind that Roy Moore will be a sitting senator because this would be the consummate example of Mr. Smith goes to Washington. It'll be Judge Roy Moore goes to Washington.